If I may start, my name is A. Samuel Odoyo Jalango. Samuel Odoyo Jalango is a police officer, designation, sergeant, currently stationed at Kasagam Police Station. Um, Sheila is my wife. I married her. And uh, her people know me very well. I, I could have not brought the body here if it was an illegal business. So I want to say the truth. And the truth is, Sheila will still remain to be my wife, even if she's dead right now. And uh, people have talked the way she died. But uh, I don't want to say much about that because we are not supposed to discuss issues which are under investigations. I think DCI at the river are trying their level best to make sure that uh, a junk does not defeat justice. So I know they are going to do what is necessary of them. Mm, well, what, uh, if, I, if I may go on briefly, um, issues do happen and if they happen we as men we should behave like men that's why God created us to be men men are not ordinary creatures that's why they are the head and we do appreciate our women they are our necks they hold us firm because no man and there is no man who can succeed if he has a woman who is, who is not tough or, or a woman is not a hardworking woman. So, uh, what am I trying to imply? Sheila was a very hardworking woman, even though we had our differences. We were communicating, we were doing co-parenting together, and uh, and that made gave me strength. Because when I was in Kisumu, oh, we could discuss some issues, family issues, which I may not expose to you or to the public. But I just want the public to know that Sheila is now lying here, is my wife. And even when people were saying all sorts of things they were saying, I was not bothered, bothered because I knew the day will come to pass. So I don't have much to say. I want to appreciate everyone who has assisted me in one way or the other. And uh, I know God will help us. I don't have much to say at the moment. May God help us all. Okay, thank you so much. Sheila is my sister. Okay, to me what I can say about her death, it was a sudden death. And the family, actually we are not pleased with what happened to her. Because at this moment, Shaila left uh, four, four, three girls and one boy, and uh, as at now, okay, we don't know actually who is going to take care of uh, these kids, and one is in uh, first year in university. So first of all, okay, what I can say is one that when uh, Shaila died, she was she was killed by her boyfriend. The name is called uh, Bamboo. And uh, this bamboo, he disappeared. He went, uh, okay, we don't know where he went. So what we are, we are asking the government that we need the justice to be taken so that the family can be free about this. Because we don't know the, the next person who will die in, this, in uh, Shaila's family. Okay, these people, first of all, they took everything in that house. They took chairs. They took uh, Viombo, Kilakitu, including beddings. They left uh, Shaila's family with even no clothes. So to me, what I can say is this. Okay, these people, these men, they used to kill uh, women. They just do it intentionally. But no one is taking care about this. So as a family, what we are asking is only one thing, that the government, can you do something about this? Yes. Then there is something trending in TikTok. We are asking, we are actually asking the people who are talking about uh, filthy things. You should avoid this.
Okay, if I may talk about what happened, the, the friends of Sheila, they contributed money. They did something with it. We can see, okay, the body was in Nairobi. The body reached here yesterday. They paid everything. Actually, even the water that we are using here, they were, they were no ferry it here. Mm, another thing, when, uh, okay, with me, I came from Guas yesterday, and the food that I've been eating is uh, the one there, these people, they brought it here. Okay, what I can, uh, if I'm concluding is this, there are these people called bloggers. They are saying many things about uh, the money collected. So what I may ask is this, these people, they help us a lot with their contribution, and we appreciate. Thank you. I have no much. Thank you. Yes. Our sister, thank you very much. We are very sad as a family for the loss of our sister, of which we didn't expect this to be. We are very sad, very, very sad. For we, we ask for justice to be done, for us to get our rights. And this tendency of men killing women, and then they are disappearing, we are asking the government to take control of this. And uh, in the family, the, 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 our sister has left the children back and everything has been taken, taken away. So we ask that if there is possibility of getting this money, even before taking back the, 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 the house, house issues, like uh, utensils, you know, what, what, but bringing for us this man, this, this murderer, let him come back, explain for us, why he has killed, he has just decided to do this doggy thing. In fact, we are very serious about this, and we ask the government to take control of this. Otherwise, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, the, death of sis, the death of Sheila was so often unto us. We are very sad as a family. We just ask the government to take an action the way there was an issue that in the government that we're saying about the TikTok. Should, there are some rules that should be guideline unto the TikTok because to them they were saying that the girl was like uh, doing prostitution, the girl was a dancer, something of that kind, which we can't allow as a family. So we asked the government to take an action. That man who has made the girl to die like a dog, which is not fair unto us. We asked the government to make an action proper. Otherwise, thank you. Thank you so much. Anybody? Sante sana. Kwanza unanza kwa jina lako. Okay, I'm called Berry Lakoko. Sheila is my auntie. Okay, to me what I can say, the death of Sheila came abruptly. Actually, our family was not pleased with uh, what happened. So, okay, okay, according to me, what I can say that, uh, okay, Sirika longe gimagi temo. Even if Sheila passed on, longe gimagi nyalo temo nige jiyo thoma ngeny. And actually, gia si um, gikma temo regi. Sheila we nyitinda ngwen. Nya temo weo muku wango, ya first year, ni university. I'm very sure ni longe gimora mora magi bro temo. Nithindo gikaka nyocho dark, gi life magidu wacha kwa dago sani, gidi bedu gi difficulty in their lives. Koro gimanya lo wacho, and manani, sirikalu winjo kwa ni situations macha lo kaka magi ya kimondo kikichak timu rekendo. Wan kaka uono, shaila nyo biro, kewa keli nyoro, madwa yike ka uono, vato kwa mori gigi mora mora moti more. Anyola madala wate, angeni gichigi ni chopo kaka gia guasi. But, tomari shaila ni yeki, and gima ntie jomo wayo kaa kata dawa maduong dala tuwa kabesa. Gini no shoke, makata sani po kuchungu. Dawa kamu bede no, sani kata mananyi thindo mano dongi yeki. Opa arore kaka gede mbele. Ngechi, nyate moro nitie ja two years, two years. Ja two years no kaa unge gimi nge, actually, and gima tek. Moro mando mwenye nyati, ubede nga maduong, kata moro mkaka romoni. Odika legi kumangeni kabesa. Kora na gima nyalo wache, nima nani, justice mando mwenye otim. otim. So Sheila ni kata bambu ni eki. Nge wacho weche mangeni. Mkuongo, jomgori yoko moro with what they did. Jomgori nutingo gige Sheila te. They took beddings, viti, viombo. Walichukwe kila kitu. Mpaka chakula. Mpaka chakula. They took clothes. Kila kitu ya watoto. Nge kao gimora mora ni gitingo jomgori no the godo. Koro wakiani mai kiti mai na mage. Sani nyithindo ginika makata nanga magiru wa kiongi. Sheila bendi ginego. Bambuni yeki ya kiani sirikale mupande, ya kiani uwonge mukani. Wanu wata emu wanchu nigi konyu wa mundo mio justice, mundo waneka kanyitindu mudo ungi yeki, nyalo di mbele. Ok, nitire yuaguruwa kugi mudo lakma usebedo kaldi mbele, kalure gi choko, kata solro, manyucha ubedo, nye sheila, kocha kore e candlelighting, nyaka e burial planning, kata funeral planning, nitire 
weche mosewachore ni [cs]pesa[cs] moko olal kaluwore gi [cs]expectation[cs] mane onego ni ikelo [cs]pesa[cs] ne jodala mondo okony e weche mag liel. Ne wachore ni ne ochok [cs]around one to two million[cs] to [cs]pesa[cs] mane okel ne thin ne mano. Un kaka jodala kata kaka jodala gi Sheila, gi Sheila, ang'o ma usewinjo e wachni to [cs]action[cs] mane musekawo kaluwore gi wach lal mar [cs]pesa[cs] ma wasebedo ka wawinjo mang'eny e [cs]social media[cs] ni? Ok, [cs]according to that, I can't talk about it because Sheila ne osol ne [cs]pesa[cs] to kane osol ne [cs]pesa[cs] adieri ma Nyasaye jogi, nitiere [cs]bloggers[cs], ok tich gi ginyalo [cs]spread rumors[cs] nikech [cs]according to me[cs] aneno ka ne nitie ot ma oger ne Sheila gi joge gi gi, ok [cs]actually[cs] I don't want to say something bad about them. Then apart from that aneno ka nitiere gik mane gitimo, gin ema gikelo Sheila [cs]even[cs] though nitie jodala mane oya Gwasi ma odhi ma oomo Sheila [cs]from[cs] Nairobi [cs]up to here yesterday[cs] but jok ma nyicha cholo solo [cs]pesa[cs] they did their best, yeah, ka ng'ato otimo maber to we have to appreciate as a family, ok kata nitiere richo matin ng'ato bo wacho but to me ot ma oger ka ni nyocha onge, ogere nikech [cs]pesa[cs] ma nyocha ichoko no apart from that ne gikelo body mar Sheila nyaka ka they entertained us yesterday the whole night gik ma gitimo ka gi eki gin ema gitimo there is water there safe clean water mane gikelo yeah so to me ok dang awach mang'eny about their contribution okay erokamano ahinya adwaro ng'ama chielo manyalo bedo gi wach